right, our next guest served as Israel's most valuable spy inside Hamas for over a decade. Now, during the course of his service in Israel's internal security agency, he saved countless lives by providing information that disrupted dozens of suicide bombings. But getting that information came easier to him than to many others, given the fact that he was the son of Hamas founder Sheikh Hassan Youssef, who was arrested in 2005. Now, the younger Youssef is a convert to Christianity. He left the West Bank for California in 2007. He's the author of a brand new book recounting his harrowing experiences, and it's called Son of Hamas, a gripping account of terror, betrayal, political intrigue, and unthinkable choices. And joining me now is Mosab Hassan Youssef. Welcome aboard. Hello. Thank Thanks you. for being here with Thank us. You. All right, well, first of all, I want to start with this idea that um, you describe Islam, and you, you basically point out that the, the highest level... Uh, that you were brought up with is jihad, holy war. Yes, uh, I uh, compare Islam to a ladder. And uh, the first uh, rung of that ladder starts with a traditional Muslim. And the highest uh, rung of that ladder is jihad. This mm. is the highest uh, uh, and uh, the most uh, holy uh, uh, duty you can do for uh, the God of the Quran. All right, and you even point out that it was, it was Israel's very existence that bothered people that you associated with them. For your father included, they wanted the destruction of the state of Israel. Yes, uh, uh, the God of the Quran uh, hates uh, Jews uh, anyway, if there was uh, uh, occupation or not. So the problem uh, uh, with the Jews, that, uh, w with the God of Islam, not with Muslims themselves. Yeah, all right, and your father, there was a suicide bombing, you, you point out your father justified it. As long as he didn't do it, he felt he was justified in this. Yes, he justified the suicide bombing and uh, every uh, Hamas uh, leader uh, as, as well. Yeah, all right. Let me ask you one thing that you said here. If I died fighting, at least I'd die and go to heaven as a martyr. You actually believe that if you killed innocent people and strapped a bomb on yourself, you believed you'd go to heaven. Absolutely. This is what every Muslim uh, believes. This is a promise from the highest authority in the Muslim society, that you die for the glory of the God of the Quran, you go to heaven. And, and you believe you'd have 72 virgins waiting for you? At some point, uh, I believed, like everybody else. Everybody, so what do you feel at this point you were brainwashed, you were indoctrinated? This is not about uh, being uh, brainwashed. This is how people grow up. Everything around you in that society tell you. School, street, every event that is happening around is telling you uh, those uh, facts about uh, Islam. All right. How did you become a spy for Israel? You were in jail with your father at one point and they approached you. How did, how did you make the conversion? Because you wanted a gun, you actually wanted to kill the people that were trying to get you to spy. You, you are right. Uh, the, uh, this is a long uh, story and this is why I wrote uh, Son of Hamas and uh, the story of uh, uh, transformation is uh, really long but what I can uh, say at uh, this moment that I wanted to infiltrate, uh, infiltrate uh, the uh, Israeli Shembet in order to uh, play a double agent and uh, it ended up absolutely the opposite. So I worked for them against mm -hmm. uh, Hamas uh, uh, movement, to be honest with you, against evil, not against Hamas, not against uh, Palestinians. I did what was right to save a human life, Palestinians and Israelis, including yeah. my dad and other Palestinian uh, leaders. Is your life now in jeopardy because you wrote this book? I think it's uh, dangerous, but uh, my life has been in, uh, dangerous, uh, in danger uh, all the time. It's not uh, something new uh, for me, and uh, right. I am okay with it. All right, so d d what were some of the examples that, that you got intelligence and information that you passed on to the Israelis saying, hey, there's going to be uh, a, a suicide attack, there's going to be this attack? What would you tell them? What did you pass on? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, uh, Hamas, uh, I wasn't a member of Hamas. I wasn't inside Hamas and I wasn't required to be inside the movement because if I was inside the movement, I could uh, carry only one operation. I was required to be outside and inside and close enough without getting involved to be able to uh, solve uh, many puzzles. I'm from that culture, from that religion. I understand the mentality of uh, terrorists and uh, I know their names, I, know, uh, I, I don't have to listen uh, for what they're saying because I could understand what they're saying and this is how we got successful. So you, you grew up with this mentality that you, you would be a martyr, that that was the highest form of Islam. The big picture, do, do, do most people that shared your faith, do they agree with you? Is this common? Because we keep hearing there's a distinction and a difference between radical Islam and mainstream Islam. This is a big mistake. Explain. Comparing between uh, uh, moderate Muslims and uh, fanatics. Yeah. This is not how we compare it. I compare all, all Muslims to me are the same. 
the end of the day, they believe in the God of the Quran, and they believe that this Quran is from that God. I compare and between that you're them. saying that, that Muslims, most Muslims think jihad is where they need to go. It's not uh, their uh, choice. This is what, uh, if they believe that the Quran is word so, by word from sorry, God. So when people, so let me ask this again. So when people say, talk about moderate is Islam, you're saying it doesn't exist? It doesn't exist. But I tell you what, uh, what happens, that Muslims have moralities, responsibilities, logics more than their God. The most criminal terrorist Muslim has mm -hmm. morality, a minimum of humanity, more than his God. Their God is a terrorist and ignorant. All right, last question. Um, you had a discussion with your father. He knows that you were working for Israel. What was that conversation like? He was absolutely forgiving, but when I went uh, public with the story, he couldn't uh, uh, handle the pressure from his God and from his uh, society. His God unskinned his humanity, and mm -hmm. now he divided between me and him. All right, Son of Hamas, fascinating book. I couldn't put it down. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. And time now to check in.